Joining me today on Skype is Dr. Robin Chutkan to discuss some unconventional habits that may be causing bloating. Doctor, some people may be shocked to know that sugar can cause bloating. Tell us why. Absolutely. So we know that sugar can cause diabetes and it can cause unwanted weight gain. But sugar is a major cause of bloating because it encourages growth of the wrong kind of bacteria. It sends some of the yeast species and other undesirable gut bacteria into a literal feeding frenzy. And that ends up producing a lot of bloating, extra gas from these sort of bad bacteria. So too much sugar, a major cause of bloating. And we've all heard that high fiber foods are culprits for bloating, but we know they're good for our balanced diet. So can you explain that? Absolutely. So fiber is sort of like the broom that sweeps the intestines clean, but too much fiber at once can cause a big plug in your intestines. It can cause almost a blockage. So I recommend a high fiber diet, but sort of spreading the fiber out throughout the day in small increments as opposed to eating a huge, huge fiber meal, which can really end up making you feel bloated. And I've heard certain medications can cause water retention as well. Are there certain types to look out for? The commonest group in women would be birth control pills, hormone replacement. Because of the estrogen effect, even in some of the lower dose estrogen pills, you can retain a lot of water and make you feel extra bloated. And what is a surprising habit that causes bloating? Aerophasia, mm. air swallowing, can make you go up a dress size in a day. If you're chewing a lot of gum, sucking on hard candy, eating and talking on the phone, if you're a mouth breather because you have allergies or a deviated septum, these are all things that can lead to a little known condition called aerophasia, major cause of bloating. Well, thanks for joining us, doctor. And remember to check back daily for more hashtag own show.